Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first episode back after Final Destination. Now, if you haven't yet watched Final Destination, go watch it, because from here on out, spoilers. I'll give you a couple seconds to shut this off. Okay, so, Final Destination. We saw a match between Power Surge and Zero. As you saw, things got pretty dark. Power Surge ended up winning that one, two, three, and retaining his Extreme Championship. This could be a turn. How much has Zero gotten into his head? Are they done with each other? Is there more to come? There's a lot of questions that are yet to be unanswered that will be answered over the next few months. Another match that we saw. The Derek versus JT for the world title. Now, the stipulation of that match was that it was an I quit match, and if the Derek lost, based off of the contract that he didn't read, he did. He didn't, well, I can't speak, but I'm trying. He didn't read the contract, much like I can't speak my sentences. And he ended up not getting a shot for the title after JT pinned him. Or not pinned him, but, you know, who cares? He gave up. And he's now gone, at least from the world title picture. And finally, much, much sadder, as I had said in the intro to that show, Ram and Krabs finally got a hold of each other. And that one was for the power title. They were back and forth like crazy. Ram managed to come out on top. Of course, he's the bigger man. <laughs> but what happened at the end of the episode, Oh yeah, the end of the episode too. The end of the match. Ram left. He's gone. He won that title and said that he was retiring. And he laid that title down and told Krebs that he was never going to win anything through him. Which is true. Ram retired unpinned in singles competition. Giving Krebs his first loss in a pin in singles competition. Now Ram is gone, we've lost our big man. Again, who knows what could be in store. New talents, old talents, who knows. Right now, the power title's vacated. And we'll end up having to hold some sort of qualifying matches or whatever to figure out what's going on with that. Now, it's a rainy day. I'll show you that out here. <laughs> See, cloudy, rainy, very wet. So unfortunately, not able to film any matches today, being that our arena's outside and in the yard. This isn't a Girls Gone Wild wet t-shirt contest, though I'm sure D. Derek would participate. But our camera crews, they were here, and they did catch a couple things today. So here's the following footage of what they caught today. I guess one of them I should know about since I'm in it, but we'll see you next time. Sad. What do you think? Well, that's true. You're out of the world title picture now. <sighs> kind of feel bad. What do you want? Well, you know, you are out of the world title picture, but I could at least see what it can do to get you in another title picture. Wouldn't mind that. Yeah. Right now, the power title's vacant. Gotta figure out what we're gonna do. I'm very well aware that the power title is up for grabs. It was a devastating loss for me, and my only loss so far yeah, it in was, this company. It was very tragic to lose That's Ryan. Right. So That's devastating right. for you. It was. Oh, tough shit. Oh. Yeah, I got it. Well, here, why don't you just sweep your dreams away, because guess what? That title shot's gone. You know what? Well, hang on, Derek. How about this? You want a title shot. You're obviously frustrated with him. He's got something more to prove, I guess, again. I feel bad about doing this, but... Hey. You two qualify our match for power title. Fine.
What do you say? I think I'm game. Alright. Since he's gay, the next time... <laughs> Sorry. Game. Next time you're here, you two have a match. I guess we will see each other, won't we? Mm -hmm. Don't close your eyes. I won't. Don't turn your back. The image looks familiar, I'm sure, to some of you. At least some of you that actually cared to stay tuned a year ago. Many people are wondering, what happened I found us the nation. What did Zero say? What did all that mean? To some of the new fans that probably don't know, let me tell you a little tale. See, one year ago, almost to the date, at Found Destination, Zero beat me and won a contract to take control of the company. But he didn't take it. No. He handed it to a spider who took this company to what some of the employees thought. We all thought she was running it into the ground. But in all actuality, the views were picking up. The wrestling was getting better. There was something there. And we've seemed to been in a little bit of a rut, maybe. Because I seem to think that we are going to new heights. But the video viewership doesn't seem to look that way. See, also when you go back a year and you look, I was curious, what is the most viewed? What episode stuck out in the fans' minds that really want, made them want to watch WMXW? Because we've had a lot of episodes with some great matches. Especially the most recent one. And the one episode I found with a lot of viewership was an episode from, I believe, June, mid June. Not too long after the first Final Destination when Widow took over. And I looked, and those were some great matches. I know some of you, this is, some of you are probably thinking, this is a very weird promo. Well, it's because some of it's a bit of a shoot since everyone likes to do that these days. Why not? It's most viewed, not because of the matches, because they were all right. Look at the picture. Apparently, WXW's legacy is defined by a woman. Not by the wrestling, but by the fact that a woman was a thumbnail for a video. Kind of funny. Now, uh, y'all, you're wondering, what does this have to do with what happened at Found Destination? Well, if you knew anything about backstage politics and what they can lead to, it leads to some bad things. Zero was knocking on a cage door, yanking at it to open it. And I tried to bury it deep, and I couldn't. I thought I did. Apparently, not well enough, because. Zero found a way to pick that lock and open it. And what happened to Zero when he did that? Hmm. Can you all tell me? Because I speared him twice, and he kicked out both times. But he pushed that button, opened that door. One, two, three. I lost control, but I'm trying to keep it under control. Because maybe I can use this side of me to get things that I want. And I realize, what's the one thing I'm missing? The one thing that I fought for that I wanted. The World Heavyweight Title. Ref, give me a shot. I guess I'm still owed one, aren't I? Or do those run now? Do I have to earn my way? Don't matter to me. I want the world title shot. Zero is out of my life. 
Despite what he says, I am not his. I am no one's. Not anymore. All that remains, I want the world title. Ref, make it happen. I hope you all enjoyed this little shoot. Make it happen. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.